so why are you doing this when you're sick? Because I knew you were going to help me. Oh, so really I'm just going to be doing this? No. My dad's cute and I want to snuggle. Oh, I see. Live? Uh-huh. I see. Live on the Oh, I should tell people we're live, huh? I forgot to tell people we're live. You're really good at this. I know. We both look how we feel today. And we don't give a crap, so whatever. I have COVID, and Danny is exhausted from working weeks Forever. in a row of 12 to 14 hour overnight shifts, which he normally enjoys, but this one's a little tougher because it's out in the cold, and, and it's not the best... It's not the best one. I Production that he's been a part of. Can I say that? I just did. I did. We do it well, all the time. There you go. <laughs> okay, let me tell Instagram real quick that we're live. Do you want to say hi to somebody? Hi, somebody. Um, hi, Stacy. Stop. Stacia. That's Stacia. Oh. Oh, no, that is Stacy. It said Stacy, so that's what Oh, sorry. Stacey. I thought you were saying to her. That's Stacia. Oh, Stacia, sorry. And then that's Stacy. That's Stacey. we did have a Stacy though. That's funny. See? I know what Hi, I'm doing. Stacey. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Jenny. So Danny's really bummed because I interrupted the best. What did, it, what did you call it? The best game of your life. Well, hold up. I thought you were live already, so I was saying that. Oh, you so, were. Yeah, I was just saying that. Does that mean you can stay live for like two hours? No. No, yeah, I'm, I, I I'm think really, that's what you said. No, you I'm just re actually you really said you just said that to be cute, and so maybe you're saying but, but, maybe we don't but have to hurry and do a quick live stream. Maybe we could do a longer live no. stream because you said it's really not that important to you at all. I didn't say that at all. I just <laughs> said it's not a good game. <laughs> we'll be quick because I don't feel well. You're exhausted. I'm live on Instagram right now. I'm not, not Instagram. <clears throat> Take two. Hi, YouTube. This is Instagram. Shut up. Okay. Hi, guys. I'm live right now on YouTube, and guess what? I have a special guest. Come and join. We're not going to be here long because we okay, are sick and exhausted. So, love you. <coughs> oh, dear. Gracious. How was your day, honey? Um, fine. All you do just play your game. Yeah, and sleep. We had a movie morning this morning. Mm -hmm. That was kind of fun. It was fun. What did we watch? Forget it. Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet Christmas Carol. Which is like... One of our favorites. Yeah, probably my top three favorite oh, yeah. Christmas movies. Easily. Yeah, so good. Easily, easily. Ooh. And you would think after so much rest, you'd just feel better, but I just feel more tired. <laughs> that sucks. We go back to nights tomorrow again. Mm. But then we have Tuesday off to reset our clocks to go back to days so we can spend all the rest of the day of the week in the studio. So that's good news. So tomorrow's your last overnight. Well, until next, next week, and then we go back to nights outside again. Mm. It hurts so bad to talk. Why are you doing this? That's why I titled this. Why am I doing this? For you people. I just want you to know it's for you guys. Because I didn't vlog. Because I'm. No, I'm. I'm still clean, Olivia. I, I am negative. Yeah. Yeah. On the COVID. He's negative. But he's. But like, I've also had the, both yeah. all the vaccines. Double the boosters and, and the boosters. I've and already like, had it once, way, way back a long time ago. So. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. I actually feel like I'm starting to get better from how I felt, so... It moves pretty quick from what I hear. Oh, maybe this new variant does, I don't know. Um, Texas! <gasps> Danny lived there for two years. We're in Texas, Jada. Where's everyone else from? The drama. Hi, Sammy! Anyway, if you guys have any questions for Dan Danny, now's the time. This is very and rare. Go. This is so rare that he 
That's the stuff with me. Thank you for the day, Amy. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me force you to do this. You're welcome. Thanks for being you, greatness, great. Thanks for being really cute. You're very welcome. I try hard. You don't need to try, it's just natural. We got New Jersey, we got a Oklahoma. Your hair's gross. Uh -huh. New Jersey, Oklahoma City. Hmm. Oh no, Jana. That sucks. We had COVID over my son's 30th birthday. We had no strength for like a month and felt like crap for over half of that. That's kind of how I'm feeling the most is like, I have no strength. I've been sleeping nonstop pretty much. Not well, literally, but. You remember when I had it, I didn't want to even play video yeah. games. I was like, just leave me alone. Don't touch me. Don't move me. I can't move. Mm -hmm. Olivia, for me, it was like three days of awful and then like two weeks of just mediocre. And long Okay, yeah, that's kind of mm -hmm. how it is for me right now, I think. It was really bad. How was yours? Do you remember? I'm trying to remember it was, it was the like a week. It. it was like a week straight of I didn't have any energy to move or remember I just sat on the couch and watched TV and just was in and out of sleep the whole time. I do know that... Um, it almost killed Paul, remember? Mm -hmm. Paul got... Paul got it bad. Paul was one of those, like... That. Close calls. Yeah, like... I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go to the hospital. It was that bad. Yeah. Should we prank call Paul? You've never done this with me. He's in St. Martin. Okay, don't answer. I don't think What he... time is it in St. Martin? I don't know. Will you Google it? What time is it in St. Martin? It's 11.46 p.m. in Merrick at St. Martin. Hmm. And he's there for a shoot. Shoot, he probably has to get up early. Okay, next time we'll prank call Paul. Um... Oh no, Jenny. My husband, daughter, and I all tested positive for COVID after returning from Florida in October. The fever didn't last long, but extreme exhaustion and congestion were persistent. My biggest symptom is the sore throat, and apparently that's the new variant going around is a lot milder than other COVID variants, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So, So I'm definitely doing better than... Well, let's be honest, you have avoided it this entire time. All the different variants until this one. Yeah. That's pretty good. Looks like it's going to fall right out of this. That was a, it's not. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Okay. So. Well, you use it like every day. Okay. Hey, guys, any questions? Other words, we're going to go. <laughs> no one's saying anything. <laughs> We're so glad we can be here. I'm gonna put my nachos in if people don't. All right. Wait, we got like, is that 23? Yes, but no one's asking anything. Oh, we have a question. Hi, Britt. Love you, girl. Hey, Danny. Question: Do you work for a company or do you get hired for productions? My friend is working on getting funds for a feature. If all goes well, would love to chat about about possibly hiring you. Sweet. Uh, I work for myself. I'm an independent contractor, so I can jump to whatever uh, uh, production is hiring and will have me. And Brittany's, my um, rates and stuff Brittany's like that. an actress. She's amazing. Nice. She's so, so good. Where are you out of, Brittany? Not that it matters. I, mean, I can go anywhere. But most uh, film guys are, at least in Utah, are are independent contractors so we all just find diff different gigs and stuff like that yeah jenny that's how i'm feeling my throat was sore for quite some time so Georgina, sweet and voice sounded like a man's i could sing really low yeah my question is that i love you 
Oh. Is there a gas leak? Oh, well, I'm, I, I had the thing going to make nachos, and then you said, let's go live, and you said, I yeah, said... Yeah, but why does it smell like gas? Because it's a gas stove. No, but, like, it smells like leaking gas edges. No, it's just the oven. I'm still breaking it in. It's brand new. Can we open your door for a minute, Ian? Sure. Okay. I can just put my nachos in. I would love to, Michelle, if he'll do it with me. What? Nothing. Why? Because. You have the easier part. You can't sing and I don't want to. I can sing. That does smell bad. Is there something they're burning? Maybe. Great. If I open this up, is it going to set the alarms off again? Yeah. Maybe. Here, turn the fan on. That's what shut it up last time, remember? Oh, yeah. Can't breathe. It's bad. You have COVID. We're having a yeah. we're having a problem with our oven. Will you sing "Baby It's Cold"? They're requesting it. Okay. What if someone pays you five dollars? Would you do it? No. Would you do it for five dollars? How would you do it for five bucks? Would you do it for seven dollars? No, no. Would you do it for ten? Look, I'm already here, so let's be happy that I'm already here. And let's just roll with that. I really can't stay. Got to go away. Baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been lucky that you dropped so very nice. I hold your hand. We're just like guys. No you were doing it. Lame. Lame. That's okay. You don't have Sorry, to. Sorry, I'm lame today. It's okay. You don't have to sing it. I'm exhausted, remember? Yeah. Oh, you think I care? I don't. <laughs> care about what? That was the look of. Don't care enough about the two girls hotel. No, that's not what I was thinking. I just was thinking, why are you always so down on your voice? What do you mean? You're just not very. You don't think you're very good. I'm not very good. I mean, not compared to you. I, I'm not very good. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Shannon, you have an amazing voice. So do you. No, I'm a nerdy voice. I don't like Maybe it. Maybe we both have. An, how about we're both great? You're both great. How about we're, we're both going to practice the art of being self-glad that we're in ourselves with our heart, with our head and heart where it can belong there. I like that. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm saying. What else? But why did you do that? I'm not going to sing the song. Why? I'm not going to sing the song. I don't feel like singing. Come on, please don't let me sing. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just keeping you. Yeah, it's, you got to be in the mood to sing, right? Yeah. I can't sing right now anyway. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> That's what it's going to sound like for both of us. Okay, if someone gives us $1,000, we'll sing. There you go. See, There's I just, I just, and, no one will. See, now I just got us off the hook. Are your nachos burning? Okay. Oh, shit. Are they burned? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Sorry. Okay. Any other questions for Danny? Yeah. Paige said, if I had a thousand dollars, I'd give it to you. Is that, that's just as good. That's an IOU. She's writing us an IOU. I really can't stay. Maybe it's cold. <laughs> <don't it's> <laughs> Got to go away. Don't want to feel bad for not making the song either. You want me to sing it with Clark? Well, who's Clark? Clark on stage, my buddy. What? Clark, he does, um, 
karaoke videos where he sings the male part only. Oh, that's so you right. can sing with him. <laughs> I know, do you want me to sing with Clark? No, because you don't really want to sing. I do want to sing. I just don't know if I can. It'd be different. Okay, any questions for Danny? <laughs> any other questions? So I just double count you're not in the herd. <laughs> oh, no. I don't get that, but I'm assuming that's pretty funny. Pledges don't count. You're not ever heard. Oh man, I need some water. Oh my gosh. Thank you, honey. Why is that funny? I'm, I don't follow any of that. Did you not follow the whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard trials and stuff? Not enough to know any funny references like that. Oh my gosh. Is she pledging something? To... She she pledged like millions of dollars to somewhere and then never paid it. Of course not. Yeah. So she promised this organization like millions of dollars and they never paid it. But was it millions of her dollars or millions of Johnny Depp's dollars? It was millions from, I, I think it was millions from whatever she got from the divorce, I think. Maybe I could figure it wrong. I didn't think she got anything. I thought she, I thought Johnny won the whole thing. Well, he won the defamation case. Oh. But when they divorced years ago, I think she got something for it. But he won the case of like, he didn't beat her, he didn't, you know what I mean? Yeah, he won yeah. that case. Because he was the one being beat up, right? Like he was, wasn't he the one getting hit and stuff by her? I think they both had issues, but yeah. I'm definitely on his side. Because she's... A uh, psycho? She's scary, yeah. Um, Talon the Weirdo says, Danny, what made you fall in love with Shani? What did make you fall in love with me? That's weird. There was just something about you. It wasn't a thing or it wasn't a, a, an aspect or anything. It was the whole package. And that first time I saw you in the mall. He loves to tell this it story. Was, it was like, oh, oh, that's the girl I'm meant to be with. Remember the video we made? Mm -hmm. And that skit, can I show that? You can show that. That was pretty good. I'm going to get demonetized because it's copyright, but who cares at this point? I mean, everything, I everything, everything is. So really everything. That's why I fell in love with her. And the more I got to know her, just the more I fell in love. I just think you are so funny in this video. <laughs> Really super curly hair, just just bubbly. She was really into tanning back then, so her, she was like golden type deal. Anyway, so she was walking leather. through, <laughs> and I kid you not, guys, it literally goes slow motion. And What's you know, shirt? like the song, any any cool hot love song or whatever, like baby, yeah, yeah. And she comes walking through. <laughs> You're perfect in this. The wind machine, remember? chops we're on chops skills we're on top wait your chopping skill your acting skills were chopped why do you keep saying chop i don't know <laughs> what i up to something never mind i don't know what chopping made up with you know, with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay and, and when I met chops. Danny, 
when I met Danny, what made me fall in love with you that night in the car? After I walked in on my boyfriend cheating on me, um, that Danny was roommates with him and he told me he was working that night, my boyfriend. And so I was like, oh, maybe I should go hang out with Danny because we were really good friends. So I just went over there and it was the type of friendship where we just walk in each other's house. And I walked in and there he was with a girl on the couch doing the things. And I just was frozen because that's what I do. And in the moment, I'm, I'm a freeze type person. So I just like froze and didn't say anything. And he just like looked at me and I looked at him and I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? And finally, after like 20 seconds, I just ran out to my car and just started sobbing. And then um, I heard like a knock on the window and I was like, oh, I don't want to deal with him. I hate him, da da da. And I look up and it's actually Danny. And he's like, let me in, let me in. So I let him in and he's like, I'm so sorry. I was in my room. I didn't even know that was happening. And I didn't know they were doing that. And I'm so sorry this happened to you. And I just like, fell into his arms and just melted into his arms and it was at that moment where I was like wait you've always just been there for me been my rock and and so sweet and so kind and loving and I don't know it just clicked like you're saying it just clicked there just was something that happened I don't know how to explain it it just was like oh there you are that's what I've been missing hi you know what I mean something like that mm -hmm. Okay. Are you doing okay, hon? Mm hmm Okay. Um, okay, I'm looking for questions for Danny. Without us having it. How about singing later? I can try singing later. Oh, Sam. And STF, STFU, your voice is amazing. Now you have to say three good things about yourself. If I have to do it, you have to do it. You did the same thing. There was a question that popped up for me. How has work been lately, Danny? <clears throat> Very carefully tell them about. Look, I wouldn't say the name or no, no, no. anything like that. I'm on a show. It's all, it's 90%, 98% outside at night so we literally start at 4 30 p.m and go to 4 30 or 5 a.m kind of thing right now it's winter so in utah everything below freezing for sure we've been down to seven degrees usually it's around 17 to 20 degrees oh and when is this movie supposed to be set it's supposed to be like a Midsummer to fall kind of a thing. Yeah, a summer to so we're fall. in winter because you can see the actor's breath and all that stuff. They are in mid summer to fall clothing, so t-shirts and pants, no gloves, no boots, no nothing. So they are freezing, freezing all the time, which just slows us down because in between takes we got to wrap them up and get a heater on them or send them back to their heating things. Um, we have a lot of new people on this set including the people in charge so it is very 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 uh trying to us to watch all of this happen and we're there to help them make it happen but the people in charge don't want to listen to us because they're in charge so they know best kind of stuff um but there was this one night where they had danny and another guy there was like snow on the ground and they had them scoop the snow off to the side and then cover the snow with dirt to make it look like it wasn't winter. And I'm like, why are they even filming this in the winter in the middle of the night in Utah, which we are known for our snow, we're known for our coldness, we're known for, and you're filming something that's supposed to be set in the summer slash fall time mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. It's five degrees and, oh. Not a lot of good choices to be made on this smart. set. Yeah, literally, like so. everything is going wrong. Everything's going on wrong. And, yeah, and since then, I don't like to use the word curse, but boy, I don't know how else to say it, but cursed. And everything like half, yeah, has gone sorry. wrong. 
We've had COVID scares. Mm -hmm. Half the casting crew has had COVID. We've had, in, we've had vehicle problems. We've had location problems. We've had weather problems, obviously. Uh, equipment Equipment problems. is, is equipment coming down. Troubles. Uh, uh, it, it's been, it's been a, a true test of, and, a, and a, it's really a true test of appreciation for the good shoots that I've been on because they are so good. <laughs> um, this one is just super, super trying. The good thing is it'll be over in two weeks, so I can move on to the next thing, which is great. Into Atlanta, it's a little bit better, still annoying people. Yeah. I mean, look, every, not every set's going to be like that. There's annoying people and everything on there, but I mean, it's, it's just, this one doesn't have to be that hard and they're making it that hard for really no reason that we can understand. So I'm sorry. we just deal with it and move on. We do our job. I'd say this happens like once a year where, where you'll get a, on a very frustrating project. Yeah. And this is this year's, I think. Yeah, yeah I think so too. Because he loves his job. Like, there's nothing This one's him easy happier. for me too. It's, yeah. it's guns and it's a couple of cell phones and some car stuff. Mm -hmm. If this was like a full on, I would have left a long time ago if this was like way in depth, heavy prop stuff because there was no way I'd be able to keep up. It's just not, Yeah. it would not be worth it at that point. But it still sucks because I have to watch these poor actors get the crap beat out of them and freeze and everything because we're all we're all geared up and even in our gear we're still freezing like we're still cold even in a full winter gear so yeah. hmm. do you want to answer that what is it how do you feel about prop gun and the safety uh i take that extremely uh um comp uh, But I am. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, I, I have been. When? This whole time, everything that I've been doing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I take gun safety, especially on set, extremely uh, uh, important. I mean, it's, it's, it's the most important thing. The good thing, and with my experience, I bring uh, replica weapons to set. So nothing is actually even fireable. Mm -hmm. They are airsoft replicas. Or, or BB gun replicas that I actually dis, I, I take them apart so that they can't fire anything anyway. You can paint them and make them look real. Yeah. And so a lot of it is all, is all that. So uh, a lot of people bring up the Rust uh, show with um, um, Alec, Baldwin. Alec Baldwin and all the crap that went down there. Guys, there were so many red flags that should have been followed on that set that just oh. plainly weren't. Um, on, on any set that I'm in charge of the weapons as the armor, I, I not only, every day, every single day, we bust them all out for everybody to look at. We inspect them all. Everybody watches me load the, the with the fake it, it, hollow bullets. Like you can see right through them. Like there's, there's just zero that can happen when, when they're my responsibility on set. Um, and everybody comes over and inspects them. Before every scene, we actually have an inspection team, all the heads of everybody, the key grip, uh, the first AD, the me, and then I also go over personally with the actors on on all of the all of everything. I show them all the ammo, ammo. I show them the casings that go into the into the replicas. I show them how to use them properly. I show them proper safety techniques and stuff like that. So there, I when when it's when it's me on set, I make sure that everything is super safe. And then I have other people check my work too, and just in case, just in case, mm -hmm. you know something is not right there um so whose fault was it on the rest set do you think oh it's the do whole it's everybody's that? it's everybody's, everybody's yeah. starts with the armor she shouldn't have had live rounds on set in the first place no matter what she's doing especially on one of her first yeah armor jobs second uh she should have been the only one handing weapons to actors and then back to her it, we had a first AD handling everything, just passing stuff out. No checks were involved, no no safety things. Um, and then look, I, no offense to Mr. Alec Baldwin there, but he's eventually responsible too because he's the one pulling the trigger. 
he's the operator of the, of the tool. So just as any tool, you know, if I hand somebody a, a welding stick and a, and a blowtorch or whatever for the scene, you got to know how to use that or you or you could get hurt or somebody else get hurt. It's just a, guns are just another tool, <coughs> especially on set. So it's, it's, it's always up to the operator too. He should have checked that gun. He should have in the rehearsals that see, again, this doesn't make any sense. Why are we rehearsing with, with even real gun, with yeah. even blank ammo? Mm -hmm. You know, now I get blank guns. Blank guns are great. They add really good stuff to the to the uh, to the production, and I think they're really cool. You still have to be safe with them. Was there plexiglass in front of camera? Was there just people standing around? Mm -hmm. When we do, when we do, even with my replica stuff, anyone who's behind or in front of the gun, unless they're actors. I have them clear out. There's no crew behind when I'm when we're doing shooting scenes and stuff like that. If there are for like eyeline, it's me because I'm the one that handed them the empty gun mm -hmm. or the safe gun or whatever the case is. So mm -hmm. I don't put another actor in there or especially another crew or whatever the case is. Um, there were just a lot of things that went bad on that set, sadly, and and the bad, and the worst happened. And I feel terrible that that people got hurt and and killed over that thing. And everyone should just... I feel bad for Alec Baldwin a little. Is I that bad to say? I mean, look... That's not his job to know. It absolutely is his job to know. It's his job to know the exact rules. Yeah. And I guess the armorer's job it's to the ar always watch the gun. That too. But he, again, he is the one... Let's say it was a car, right? Mm -hmm. He's not in charge of bringing the car there or the, or the, or the main maintenance of that car. But if he's the one behind the wheel and he's driving... He's the operator of that car. He's the operator of a tool. He's the operator of a pencil. He's the operator of the of the replica gun. Now again, it's not fully on him. Mm -hmm. It's everybody. It starts from the safety guy. I'm I'm blaming the 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 key grip. He should have been there seeing the because the key grips are over the safety of the entire set, and they have the power to be like, nope, this isn't safe. Everyone should stand down or whatever the case. Let's figure this out and make sure we go on safely. Um. So all, all the way up to that point, there was no safety checks and no inspections or anything. And then you have a loaded loaded weapon on set with no safety checks. It, was, it, it still could have been avoided if, if Mr. Baldwin had just been, you know what, let me expect this too. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, that's mm -hmm. a live round. What are we doing here? Everybody stop. Mm -hmm. uh, a key grip is in charge of all the grip equipment which is all the stands and uh, the, light, the the control stuff for lighting. You do grip a lot. Oh, totally, yeah. I do yeah. key grip all the time. But I'm not doing props. I do grip and electric stuff. Um, they're in charge of all, like, the rigging. So you put, like, pipes and, and speed rail up in the air. They're in charge of making sure that's all safe so it doesn't come falling down or crashing down. Um, they they just make sure that everything is, is in charge of that. And then on top of that, because they're in charge of all the rigging, they are also in charge of all the safety and everything on the on the set as well. So and yeah. that, that comes in every in everything. They're they're over there with the special effects guys when we're doing squibs or or uh, zerk shots and stuff or or flame or anything like that. He's just making sure that everything's gonna go to plan and that everybody's safe. He makes sure that there's proper distances and stuff like that. So again, on that set, no uh, nothing there. So anyway. Very, very tragic what happened. Um, and luckily, the, I mean, there's a, there's a silver slide to it. Um, it has upped all of our, as armors and prop masters and people's game. Like, it would be very mm -hmm. willy-nilly at this point if that hadn't happened. The same safety checks and everything, even before that I was, con I was conducting when I had weapons on set. It's just kind of common sense. So, uh, unfortunately, a tragedy, a tragedy has had to happen to kind of wake everybody up again and just make sure that this will it's never so happen It's unfortunate again. that that had to happen to mm -hmm. wake everyone up. Yeah, it's it so sucks. Sad. Yeah, it should not have been, should not have ever needed it. So yeah. anyway. Can I read this real quick before I forget? Morgan Dunbar says, hey, Shani, I wanted to come on here and thank you. I met my soulmate on one of your live streams one night in May 2018. We are now inseparable and it's all because of you. And your amazing channel thank you we were best friends for about four years and started dating in march this year and i stayed the whole summer with her i love stories like Wee. that You're a matchmaker yay <laughs> okay um all right we're gonna take one more question and we're gonna go okay yeah okay 
So my nachos are now not hot. Sorry. I want to make me want to warm them up. How do I do that without burning them? I'll make you these. No, that's good stuff. I'll eat them. You're fine. If you put them on a plate, you can microwave them. It'll get warm in there. But nuke's, nuke cheese is not as good as cooked cheese. I'm sorry. It's okay. I should have brought them over and eaten. Okay. You go get them and eat them now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Don't worry about it. It's all good. All right. Um, we're looking for a good question to end on, so everyone... Send it in. Oh, yeah. that was open. Oh, that's oh are you kidding me? It's all soaked now. Yeah. This is why you shouldn't just set things on the couch like this. It's well, really irresponsible. With an open top. It was closed a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're cleaning it up. I know. I'm sorry. Not bad. <laughs> oh, I got it. Um, Question? Um, Amy said, I have a car that I needed, um, but I can't afford. Do I keep it and struggle or sell it? Because I also have a van that is that isn't running but I can get it running quickly mm -mm. sell it get some money fix the van up yeah that's what I would do too sell it use the money to fix the van my other question is who wants to pay off my car Dan you'll do it um, pass if we were billionaires it would last like a day because I would just if give that, it away if <laughs> Buy everyone I know a house and a car and start like a homeless shelter, but like nice, like a really nice bed and breakfast and where they can come and be happy <laughs> taken care of. And that's why we'll never be millionaires. <laughs> but good for you. Good heart. That we need people like that. We just can't afford people like that. <laughs> Yeah, it would be a sad day. Hmm. What's a dream job you both want? We'll end on that one. What's a dream job that you both want? I'm living it, dude. And he's living it. This is it. I found it. I got lucky. You did. No, you worked really hard to get where you are. Yeah, but I'm still lucky that I like, I love it. Yeah, that's true. Like, I'm glad that you Even though it. I had to work hard, it's still really good that I love my job. Mm-hmm. Um, you, rare. YouTube is my dream job. It's not doing very well at it lately, but that's okay. It's still my dream. You work hard at it too, though. I still want to grow it and make it and do it of all the things. And then, um, and my other dream growing up was to be a mom, which I sort of am to some people out there, which cool. is amazing. You got the birds. And the birds. And Danny. I'm Danny's mother, too. Um, it's my child, my six foot five child. Are you six six? Six five and a half. Why did you tell the guy six four? When? Did you get nervous? When? When we were doing family pictures. Did you know you said six four? I did? Yeah. Oh, I so I, cor six, I corrected you. I'm oh. like, no, you're six five, six I six. Don't know. I just want to get anyway. the pictures done. <laughs> How tall is Eric? Eric is Danny's brother. He's six five. Well, he he's be, taller than you. He might be six six then. And dad is six five. Like You're that. about the same as dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have to do a safety check for a boomerang on set? Mm, probably not a boomerang, but you want to make sure that everyone's going to be safe when you throw the boomerang. Are those dangerous? Well, if they come back to you, you don't catch it. You're going to get smacked upside the head, or aren't they you... like made of like paper or foam? What? No, they're like wood. Wait, do I know what a boomerang is? Yeah, it's a big triangle L-shaped thing that you throw out in it. Like from Australia? Mm hmm Those are weapons? Yeah. Oh. Used to be. Anything could be a weapon. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we're gonna go. Thanks for hanging out. Danny really wants to play his game. I'm just tired. And eating his nachos. Just... So, thanks for thank you for doing this with me. Really, You're welcome. that meant a lot to me. You're thank welcome. you. Merry I love you guys. Nice. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna show you my trees. Do you show them the trees? Mm -mm. I haven't showed anybody, not even Instagram. So, wow. look for pictures. I might post the pictures tonight, but I'll give you like a full tour of my trees tomorrow and my Christmas decor everywhere. So, okay, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow at some point. And remember, <laughs> forever and always, that you're beautiful. You're worth it. And I am too. Thanks for watching. Bye. How do you stop it? You have to push the X. That X? Big push. Harder. Harder. It's not pushing. Harder. Do this. Harder. <laughs>